at 516. Kirsty, keeping a close eye on those storms that are rolling through even after all that flooding we just saw. Yeah, I want to show you the storm reports actually from the activity that went through and produced a lot of flash flooding. Uh, the Pittsburgh area in particular so far this summer has really struggled with a lot of flash flooding and uh, they had a little bit more of that yesterday. Around 252 they had reports of flash flooding uh, near Pennsylvania, well near Pittsburgh, but looking a little bit further to the east, look at all these storm reports. These are all coming in for high rainfall amounts, heavy rain in portions of Pennsylvania there near Harrisburg up to almost three inches. So uh, very potent storms that rolled through that area. Now here in the Miami Valley, we're kind of in between systems. We're waiting for our next storm system to arrive. That will come in tomorrow. What we're starting to notice today, though, is an increase in moisture already. So our dew point temperature is a good indicator of how much moisture is in the atmosphere. As it starts to climb above 65, it starts to feel muggy. So this is the first afternoon that it's going to be a little uncomfortable. By tomorrow afternoon, in the upper 60s, and by uh, Thursday, around 70. So really starting to notice that uh, moist golf moisture pulling into the Miami Valley. And that's going to fuel the thunderstorms Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Live look outside this morning. We are in Greenville here. You can see 64 degrees right now. Pretty quiet across most of the Miami Valley. Piqua, Oakwa, just two schools headed back today. A lot of us are already in school. So morning drive, getting the kids to school or getting yourself to work. We'll be in the 60s. It'll be muggy, but overall pretty quiet morning. You're going to want to grab your sunglasses, though. Uh, the first half of the day, a lot of sunshine. Even later into the afternoon, we'll just see a few fair weather clouds. A bus stop forecast for Pequa, very similar here, quiet from start to finish. Now, looking at live Doppler 7 radar, we are picking up a little bit of returns here, but nothing that's actually producing rainfall for us now. Futurecast keeps the sunshine through the morning. As we head into the afternoon, we see a few clouds develop. And even though Futurecast wants to spit out a stray rain shower, I think in general, we're going to get enough moisture for cloud cover, but not necessarily any rain. And even the clouds later this afternoon are completely broken. So a lot of sunshine really from start to finish through the day today. If you're headed out the door shortly, it's 58 in Urbana, 63 in Xenia, and 59. Good morning to you in Greenville. Our hourly forecast up to 85. So it'll feel similar to yesterday. It's just going to be a little bit muggier for the afternoon hours. Some other cities across the Miami Valley today, Springfield 85. We'll be around 85 in Miamisburg and 83 in Bell Fountain. Tonight we drop down to 68, mild but pretty quiet. And tomorrow our chance for rain starts to increase towards the late afternoon. So the beginning of Wednesday looks dry, the end of it not so much. 83 degrees for the high though. Our thunderstorm threat on Wednesday does come from scattered showers and thunderstorms. I think the biggest impact will just be localized heavy rain and it's the first round of localized heavy rain will track not only that late afternoon and evening, but again, overnight Wednesday into Thursday. Futurecast for Wednesday shows at least the bus stop forecast tomorrow morning looks good. As we head towards the afternoon, though, kids getting off the bus, 3, 4 o'clock, we are going to have some isolated downpours and thunderstorms to track. We're going to keep that chance around even as we head into the evening. Looking ahead to Thursday, this is when our actual uh, storm system will be pulling through, swinging a cold front on by. And you can see most of the Miami Valley is highlighted in green. This is indicating that we could have uh, things line up for not only some flash flooding, but also the potential for some strong to damaging winds. Our five-day forecast does show we're pretty active all the way through Saturday. Not a washout. Temperatures near normal. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's check in with Sergeant Mark. Good morning, Sarge. And good morning to you, Chris. Well, our Tuesday morning drive's getting a little bit busy. We've got a couple of accidents now. There's a crash on State Route 503. About three miles north of Interstate 70, this is the Lewisburg area. Traffic trackers actually there. Now, these are some live pictures from a single vehicle rollover crash. They've dispatched a couple of medic units already to this uh, crash scene on uh, State Route 503. Looks like they may have 503 temporarily blocked. Now, also hearing reported what sounds like it may be a serious crash in the city of Xenia. Bicyclist hit East Main at Leach. Main at Leach, it sounds like that intersection is currently inaccessible because uh, they've pretty well cordoned things off while they conduct an investigation there in Xenia. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer and WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. It is 520, 64 degrees. Plans are underway for the Great Dark County Fair. What organizers plan to discuss as the fair opens later this week. And the Humane Society of Greater Dayton holding a Name Your Price adoption this weekend. Uh, you can bring home a new four-legged friend. First, here's a look at gas prices around the Miami Valley. As you can see, all the way down to two forty-eight in Piqua. To find the cheapest prices near you, just go to whio.com and click on Pump Patrol.
We're with the cast of